Welcome back to the Library Trace YouTube channel. To this class, we will learn how to make this beautiful yoke blouse. Okay, so the yoke part is curved like this and it extends to the bustier part on one side while it is not on the other side. It's a very simple tutorial and it is beginner friendly. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this blouse, I already drafted my basic pattern here. So this is the basic bodies and then this is my okay so let me just leave out the line this is my chest line here i'm taking my arm for measurement this is the bust point this is the under bust and this here is the waistline so on the from the center front here i went in by four inches which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and then here I took it out of one one inch then I took it down and connected it to one inch before my bust point so that is all I have done here so the first thing remember because this yoke is not uniform on both sides of our center front it's like a wavy or curved yoke so I need to transfer everything that I have here on the other side so that I'll have a full front but remember this is just the half scale of my front bodies so to do this when I was drafting I made sure to fold my paper into two now i'm just going to take my tracing wheel and then i'll trace out everything that i have on this pattern so that it can show on this other side then i'll be able to draw it out so i'll trace this out now and then by the time i open it up i can see it clearly you can see it a bit perforated i don't know if you can see it so i can see everything here clearly now i'm going to take my my marker and then I'm going to transfer everything that I have here on this other side too. Okay, so everything we have here now have been transferred on this other side. And like I said, the shape of the yoke is a bit wavy, just like this. So to create that now, I'm going to measure what I have between. Remember, this is my bust point line and this is my under bust line. So I'll check what I have on that point and the difference is three and a half inches. So now from my bust point area, because I want it to sit right underneath my under bust. Okay, I want the yoke to stop on my under bust. So depending on where you want it to be, from my bust point area now, I'm going to take my tape rule and then I'm going to measure three from this point. I'm going to measure that three and a half inches round. In a circular form so from my boss point now i'm marking three and averages right so this measurement i'm making now is just a guide so that i can draw out a perfect curve okay so here now i'm measuring the three and a half inches round from my boss point and then i'm going to make it into a circle and i'll do the same thing for the other side okay so that is what I'm doing. So after measuring it, if it's too high for you, you can multiply it. So I'm just going to, then I'm going to be connecting those points together like this. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the circles are drawn now. So just the way it is shaped on the thumbnail, as we can see, you're going to be you choose whichever side you want your curve to curve to be. They are just going to be curving it, following this circle now as our guideline. If you are okay with the depth that you have here, so now, like I said, I want it to sit right under my underbust. You can see that the circle is just stopping at the underbust. If you don't want it on that point, when you're circling it, you can just go beyond it and then connect it like that. So the first thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be taking my curved ruler. And then I'm going to be blending this part from this center part here all the way to my hand hold like this because that is how I want it shaped. If you want any other shape, you can go for it. So from there now, I'm just going to be blending this in to meet my hand hold as you can see. You can see the smooth curve that I have here. So here at this boss point part, I'm going to go over to my center front which is here you can see the crease line of the center front here so on this center front now i'm going to take my curve driller also now and then connect from this part to blend in to the center front here so i'm just looking for a perfect place to curve to get my curve and then once i have that i'm going to be connecting it like that so you can see i'm connecting it 
I'm trying to blend it in so if you have a better cup you can work with it so after that from that point also I'm going to be connecting it to meet my under bust so I'll also look for a good cup that can give me that that can give me that then I'm going to connect it once I have that so from there now I'm going to be connecting it like this so you can see the curve that I'm having it's from from here then all the way here then from here now I'm just going to connect it to my side okay so you can just connect it straight like this or just give it maybe a curvy effect or whichever one it is that you choose so I'm just going to give it a slight curve I don't want it too much then I'm going to be connecting it there so I have my yoke coming from here, then it curves like this, then go all the way to the side of the front, like that. So now that I have this, so all this upper part now becomes my yoke. Now I'm going to cut it out, but because I still need this pattern to cut out my bust here, I'm going to be tracing the yoke part. So the yoke part is, let me just indicate it from all this curve, from the curve that we have here upward is our yoke part. So now I'll get the fresh paper and then place it underneath it like this. And then on this paper, I'm going to be tracing out that yoke using my tracing wheel. Then I can now cut it out. So like I said, I'm just going to be following the shape, the shape of your curve. that you have there that's your yoke and you're going to be tracing the upper part now i'm going to once you trace it out i'm going to remove the pattern and now i can see my yoke design underneath it so i'll take my chop my marker now and then trace out this design okay so as you can see the yoke is traced out now i just need to cut it out so I'm going to set this aside now and then work on the off shoulder. Remember, there's an off shoulder Ankara underneath this. You can use Ankara or any other fabric that you want. So I'm going to be putting this on fold again because I don't need it any longer. Then I'm going to draw out the shape that I want for my Ankara, the neckline shape that I want for my Ankara. So I'm going to be drawing with a sweetheart neckline, but this is so deep, so I'm just going to be going down from my upper part by. By around eight inches, okay, or or nine. Then I'm going to use my curve to connect it to that circle that I have the back. Okay, so this is the shape that I'm having for my off shoulder. It's going to start from here now, and then goes all the way like that. So to tighten it a bit, I'm going to extend this nipple to nipple line upwards, and then here I'm going to be taking a dot of half half inch okay and then i'm going to connect that to one inch before my first point or half inch so by taking this away it will help my posture to be firm on the upper part so now i'm going to the one inch that i removed here i'm going to hide it here or it's not necessary because is actually on the upper part and it's not going to affect my side seam measurement so if it's going to affect it you need to add it back then the next thing is for you to hide your necessary allowance if you haven't and then i'm going to be cutting this out okay so now after cutting it out now i'm going to cut out my that This is my center front, and these are going to be my two side fronts. So now I take this to my entire fabric now, and then I'll cut it out. And then the yoke part, I'm going to be cutting it on a lace fabric. So this is what I have. As you can see, this is the center front, and these are the two side fronts. So we are going to be padding it. You can see we already have 
the lines that our pad, our soft wording is going to go through. And also, I already have a tutorial on how to pad your boards there, so you can check that out. But already, this is already showing you how you are going to be adding your wording to this. Or if you want to add a ready made bracket, whichever one you want to use. So now I'll take this to the table now and cut out my fabric, then bring it back to show us. I'm gonna have to cut out the yoke with this lace fabric. So if you are going to be adding allowance to this, you need to add necessary allowance. Yeah, remember I'm doing this for the purpose of a tutorial and then probably on your neckline. And then I also cut out my bustier part using this Ankara fabric. So you just place it on the Ankara and cut it out. Then you add allowances on the upper part here. Remember you'll be trying to to the line and probably on the dust area if you don't have allowance there and on your side seam. Okay, so we are cut, turning this, we are to be making this for a client to cut your lining also exactly the same way you cut out your Ankara, then use it to turn out each other. So now I'm going to be taking this to the sewing machine now, and then I'm going to be joining them together on the dart area. So I'm going to be joining this to this side, and then I'll join this to this side also, and I'll bring it back to show us how we're going to be putting our yoke. Okay, so this is so now already taking it to our sewing machine to sew it. So like I said, if we're going to be lining this now, you can see that the bust the bust is even forming already, even without a bra cup. So if we're going to be lining this, you cut your lining the same way and then use it to turn it on the neckline area here. And if you're adding a wording to this, you'll be cutting your wording like this and then you gum it to it, the shiny part of the wording, you gum it to each of the sides before you sew it so i just want to show us a tip if you want to add a bra cup to your bust here so what you just need to do is this is a ready-made bra cup you just fold your bra cup like this now and try to locate the midpoint which is here so this is the nipple area here so on your bust here also after you might have pressed open your seam area here you need to locate where your bust your nipple point is which is obvious you can see the that deep part where your nipple point is you match it with your with your breast cup here like this you hold it with your hand and then you can use that part with you you can hold that part with a with a pin okay so once you hold that part with the pin you can decide to do the other one also you get your midpoint locate your nipple point and then you open press open your seams and then you put it now and then you also hold that part with a pin okay so after opening this is where we are and you have to make sure that they are uniform like what we are seeing here so now on this side before you, there are several ways you can actually add this some people tack it but i don't really like tacking it if you're very very neat in sewing you see this place where you joined it, that's the where you joined your bust here together. That same line that you have here. Sometimes I like to just spread it open like this, then I'll drag it. Then I'm going to be sewing on that seam, on that area exactly. You see where I have my seams here. I'm going to be sewing on it directly like this on that edge. So you have to be very neat and you have to sew this carefully. So you just drag it like this and then sew on this place that you already sewn. It's not going to show if you sew it where you can even use an invisible invisible thread. So that is going to hold your bra up to your bust here for you. Or you can tack it like I said but I don't really like tacking it there because it may show. Another thing you can use is just use your aiming gum. So this is an aiming gum. You're just going to be cutting your aiming gum now and then you place it in between your bra cup and your bust here then you hold this like this then you get your tailor's ham that's what you use to iron the cup area of your bra then you get your tailor's ham you place it on it and then apply heat on it you can use a steam iron so this aiming gum now is going to melt into the bra cup and the fabric and it's going to fuse them together so it's going to say make let it hold in place for you then after that is when you're going to be turning the neckline with your lining so this is just a tutorial so i'm just going to be holding this bra cup with pins to my bust here now so you can see the way i'm dragging this so if you're in that's how you drag it so that everything has to lay really flat you can see what you have here you must not have anywhere poking out or looking bumpy so you just drag it well and make sure that 
they all lay as flat as possible for you so once they are laying flat like this you know you have gotten it right so now i'm going to be holding the other side also with a pin and then we're going to bring in our yolk so i've pinned in my bra up now and then i'm just going to be bringing in my yolk remember this is our yolk i will cut it like this to fit in like this so i've cut that on my lace fabric now and then i'm going to bring it and then place it on it directly okay so you can notch the center part on your yoke you can notch that part so that it can guide you so you place it directly on your yoke like this and then you pin it okay so i'm going to be placing it directly on my yoke and then i'm going to be pinning it round so that it can stay in place before i take it to my machine to sew so now when you're pinning this when you get to this other side here remember on this part now the bust is cut out completely so it's not going to be affected but on this other part now if you look at our pattern so this is what the pattern is looking like on this other side which includes the bust you can see that we cut out two inches from our pattern and we did not include that in our yoke so the yoke may be a bit bigger than your actual bustier pattern so you're just going to be draping it on it like we are doing a draping so you can do this on your mannequin or you can do it manually also so the excess that i have on my lace yoke i'm just going to trim it off so it's advisable that you use a yoke a place that is not too strong that you can easily drag so that you can easily do the draping that you want to do on it i hope you understand that so by the time you are doing your own and you notice that it is bigger so you can see the underbust i said i want it to sit on my underbust and you can see how it is sitting on the underbust area so if you are doing your own now and you notice that it is a bit bigger you should not panic it's bigger because of the bust that that we of the dust that we took around that area and we did not take it when we were drafting it on our yoke so that is why we have something bigger there so now you can see you can see the excess that i'm talking about so i'm just going to be trimming off that excess and then i'm going to be draping this lace fabric on it in such a way that i'm not going to be having any way bumping so you're just going to try to maneuver your way around it and then you trim off the excess lace that you may have there okay so that is all you need to do so it's not it's not advisable that you take any that on your legs because it's not going to be looking really nice so that's why we're going to be removing you can see how i'm just dragging it so that it can lie as flat as possible so that's what you should do okay you just find your way around it so we're going to be trimming off this excess that we have like i said i always like to drape it on my mannequin like this so it become it becomes easier if you have a pinnable dress from like this you just drape your lace on it and then you can easily eradicate whatever excess that you can have so you can see that this is lined for us very flat now and then whatever excess that you have you just try to shear it so that it can be moderate and you will not have to take any of that you can see what we have here now so now i can easily tag this on my mannequin or i just bring it past and take it to the my, my machine so what i'm going to do now my sewing machine i'm going to be sewing on it directly like this following this shape that i have so i'll sew on it and follow this shape i can sew on it because if you check the thumbnail you see that this part is covered with a trimming so after sewing on it like this i'm just going to bring in a trimming and then sew the trimming on it also so that i can use it to cover up all these rough edges okay so as you can see now i've brought it out now and i just pinned it from my mannequin so that it can stay in place so you can see that it is also laying as flat as possible so that is what you want to achieve now i'll take it to the machine now and then sew it from this place now round then after sewing it like that so i have this trimming so you i'm just using this for the purpose of tutorial you can get something bigger that's going to hide this very well. so i'm just going to place it on it now and then you use it to hide that rough edges so I'll go over to the machine and do that now, then bring it back to show us. 
so this is our blouse now the yoke has been added to the Ankara and you can see that it just follows the curve that we drafted on our pattern so I just went ahead to use this trimming to cover up the rough edges like I explained and this is what we have you can see how beautiful this is looking I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and for the back bodies you can actually add any back panel that you want but you should have a shoulder because you're just going to, you're going to be need you're going to need to join it together on the shoulder parts like that so this is the full feel of the blouse and it is really beautiful see you in the next one bye